had a dream last night Did everything you never do in real life I slept into a room, told everyone to be quiet Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away Wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I've been more Picking the plate, being the plate She is on a rule Never seen it like this Didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in the way, she's not here to play She'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me and today, well, let me stop smacking. And today is a record day. I talked a little while ago about my YouTube channel just kind of like going down a little bit in terms of engagement. But it's also because I just haven't been recording as regularly. So I wanted to bring you for a record day. And not just me recording, but I'm really trying to up my discipline. So this week has been really good. I went and worked out this morning. I am. My class is so good. Time to go home and get the day started. I ran to the dry cleaners to take Cameron's clothes and then I came home, made a protein shake. took Audie to the groomer. Hi, poor love! And then I came home and made some breakfast. And now I am about to write my top three and just kind of prep for the day. I'm trying to make sure that I take time to prepare for the day instead of just kind of dancing through the day and hoping for the best. The thing I've noticed is that when you fall off of one thing, it's so easy to fall off of everything. Like, if I fall out of making up the bed, then I fall out of writing my top three, then I fall out of making my lemon water or drinking tea in the morning, and I fall out of not going to or going to the gym, and then I kind of fall off of eating and fall off of like YouTube, and everything just kind of unravels. So it's nice when you set the day up differently and you do start off the day with those small things it kind of just accumulates so it's been cool to see that over this past week i also hit 100k on instagram today and i was telling cameron how i think i kind of sabotaged myself because i've been in the 90s probably around 95 for like the past two months and then as I started getting close to 100, I kind of just got comfortable thinking that it was just gonna come. And then my followers started going down. Like I lost like three or 400 followers about over the last few weeks. And it just kept going down and I was like, what in the world? And I posted a reel that's kind of going viral now. So my followers shot back up, but it's really not about the followers. It's about the fact that a lot of times we do get really comfortable once we taste a little bit of success and I was listening to a podcast this morning on my way home from the gym Ed Milet had Master P on his podcast and Master P is like full of wisdom but I was listening to it and Master P was like some of the most unsuccessful people are the ones who got a taste of success and then got too comfortable and didn't push through to keep going um, something along those lines like a lot of people just don't ever reach their fullest potential because they they taste it and then they like scale back and i think it really does play on us kind of underneath the surface not feeling worthy that we are like not feeling like we are worthy enough for those things and just kind of taking ourselves back down to a place that you know we're comfortable in so um kind of draws back to the temperature or the thermostat uh, reference I made a while ago that it my let like made and it just blew my mind that if your temperature is set to 70 degrees then things that require 60 degrees 65 degrees even 70 degrees you're gonna excel at but if it do, if it requires 90 degrees you naturally bring the temperature back down to 70 degrees so it's really important to just 
be full force like turn the thermostat up and just like give your 100 percent. and lately i feel like i've been really earning my rest like when i go to bed i'm just like whoo i did good today so um i am excited for today i'm gonna record some youtube content i am gonna write my top three and look at that she finished all of her top three yesterday um sometimes that doesn't happen but you get today Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself just showered and I'm about to put my makeup on today it's gonna be kind of a quick record day I don't think I'm gonna do my entire setup with the monitor and the Sony and all the things because um, I really have so much other stuff I need to do today so I'll show you guys my quick version of a setup let's do the makeup Okay, she's ready. I just gotta put on a lip. And first I'm gonna record a intro and outro for a video I have to put up today. I interviewed an executive from YouTube named Tara. We talked about YouTube and shorts and how to grow and if the platform is oversaturated, why long form content is just not performing well on YouTube. And we dived into all the things. So if you wanna catch that interview, then please go watch it. It's amazing i'm just gonna record the intro and outro for that video put that up and then i'm going to record my other two videos i'm using my nikon z30 i'll uh, show you guys my setup very shortly um so let's record the intro and outro i actually think all that out the way tripod got the tripod you do not I repeat, you do not have to have a super complex YouTube setup in order to have a solid YouTube channel and, when, and in order to make good content. You really don't. This is the Nikon Z30. If you guys remember, I had a campaign with Nikon a while back. I actually have two of these. And yes, I still use it. Yes, I still love it. Um, I got the creator kit bundle, so it also came with the microphone. And I think this setup is just so solid especially if you're a beginner which is why i took the campaign and which is why i still use it so i get a lot of questions like do you still use the z30 i'm thinking about getting it the answer is yes also shooting in front of a window i'm not going to turn it around for privacy reasons but there's a window right here which you can see um coming through i actually don't think i'm going to use any lighting i'm just going to kind of roll with it i want i'm I'm really trying to make myself just create more and not be so obsessed with the small things because the most important thing is the content, the thoughts, the ideas that I have to share. Um, and while I still want the quality to be incredible, I just sometimes setting up my monitor and like getting mic and making sure audio is rolling and like all of those things can just take up a lot of time. Let's get going. Let's shoot. Get out the way. Oh wait, I can't clean the shelves Racing the clock, even in my feelings, grind don't stop. Got big dreams, want bigger rocks. I got plans. That is one big important thing. You do not want your sit down videos to look really cluttered and like you have a lot going on because it's very easy to get distracted by your your background since you're just sitting there. So um, to keep a clean background, just tidy it up. Make sure you look at at um, your shot and see like is anything in the shot that I don't want like there's a cord plugged in right there I don't think it's in the shot but it's worth just in case it is let me just check looking good I do like that this camera swings out so I can see what the shot looks like all my cameras don't do that oh child I almost forgot to put on some lip gloss Charles oh, just don't let me record with my chat though my friend I'm outside I'm outside it's actually really sunny so I don't know if this is gonna work but 
I'm trying to kind of switch up my locations more because I felt like I was kind of getting stuck with recording only at my desk and I wanted to just feel comfortable and sometimes I just don't feel like being in my office and I feel like I don't have to be so um, we have some really nice other areas of our house so I'm just gonna set up back here and then see how this goes it's also really hot so maybe I should just set it up on this table like that what do you think how does that look it's my time that is a wrap I'm done creating today uh, I'll probably do an Instagram reel just to celebrate the fact that I hit 100k but other than that I am done Honestly, you guys, the content creation process does not have to be that difficult. Once you record the content, you can zhuzh it up a little bit. I love to add music. I'm really loving Epidemic Sounds. Um, I have been getting all of my music from there lately. And y'all, if you find a good track, that can just increase the the production value of your content so always just look for good music on top of making the good content and then editing it in a way that just makes you feel good and creative so i don't usually edit on my record days because that's just way too much unless i'm recording something that needs to be edited that needs to go up in the same day which i that's like terrible terrible do not recommend zero out of ten um but otherwise you know, record days are pretty good. I get all cute. Sometimes, just a little life hack for the ladies, if you go out on dates, that's a great day to make your record day because you're already gonna have makeup on. So I used to want my record days to be Mondays because I wanted to get it out the way at the top of the week. But I was always kind of ripping and running and doing things. So I ended up, uh, I usually record videos toward the end of the week because I know me and Cameron are usually going to go on a date and it just doubles the face. So uh, you can squeeze a little bit more out of your makeup routine. So anyway, I hope this video gave you some insight on what a typical day, um, a little bit more disciplined of a day for me to record my content is. And let me know if you... I don't know, want more of these types of videos. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. For you, I was for us, you do the math, don't add up. Even on my worst day, down on my luck. I got the sauce, I'ma always come up. I tried it your way, that was a